guys, it's Evelyn from Magellan College Counseling. So it is Thursday, March 16th, and it is possible that those of you who go to LA Unified Schools, your schools will be closed for a couple of days next week for a strike. So I'm here to give you a couple options of things that you can do that will move your college search forward in case school is closed. The bad news is um, some of your schools were planning to offer the SAT on Wednesday. So that's sort of sucky, um, but all is not lost. There are um, May, June, August, October, November, five more times for you to take the SAT this year before your college applications are submitted. So I don't want you to worry about that or freak out about that. Um, it sucks a little bit if you studied for the SAT, if you've been prepping. Um, it is kind of sucky if you won't be able to take it, but... Um, there are going to be lots of other opportunities for, for you to take it. So I want to give you a couple options for things that you can do. You can research college websites online. I'm going to give you a link to a short little uh, video where I'm going to walk you through how to research a college online. Um, you need to be doing your college research because you should be deep, deep, deep in the process of building your balanced college list. Um, the other thing that you can do if your school is closed Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week is go visit colleges. You live in LA. We have tons of them here, um, more than just the ones you know, um, but you could absolutely go take a tour and you should sign up for the official tour. You could take a tour of UCLA. You could take a tour of USC. You could tour CSUN. You could tour um, Cal State Channel Islands if you live up in the San Fernando Valley. You could tour Cal Lutheran. I just toured a couple weeks ago. Really nice little medium-sized campus in Thousand Oaks. Um, you could go east and you could tour the Claremont colleges. If you have super high grades and you want to get into a super competitive school, tour one or two of the Claremont colleges. There's five, all in the same one square mile area, Pomona, Claremont McKenna, Pitzer, Scripps, the Women's College, and Harvey Mudd, the engineering school, all liberal arts, um, all super high, highly selective. Um, talk about highly selective, you could tour Caltech. Um, it's in Pasadena, nice small little campus. You could tour, also going out east a little bit, you could tour Cal Poly Pomona, which has amazing programs in business and engineering, um, hospitality, they have aerospace, they have lots of great stuff. Uh, Cal Poly Pomona, you could go to Redlands, University of Redlands, which is also a, a liberal arts campus, beautiful campus. Um, I happen to like Redlands because their uh, mascot is a live bulldog. Um, his name is George. He is the cutest thing. Um, so go visit George. Um, you could also go visit Occidental College, which is a little bit closer. It's um, in Eagle Rock. And actually a bunch of counselors on our team just visited a couple weeks ago. You could go visit Loyola Marymount right near um, LAX. So lots and lots of ways for you to um, spend your time productively if you are not in school next week. We know it's definitely not the best of all situations, um, but um, but here's a way to to make the make use of the time. The other thing I'll do is I'll put a link to a template um, that we have for what's called a brag sheet. You may or may not be working on this with your Magellan counselor at this point. Um, many of your uh, schools, especially the ones who use Naviance, but many of your schools. Um, when you ask your counselor to write you a letter of recommendation or even a teacher uh, to write you a letter of recommendation, they might ask you to fill out this thing they call a brag sheet, um, at, either at the end of this school year or at the beginning of the next school year. Um, so we'll just get you, you might as well just get started on that. It takes a little bit of introspection. You need to think really hard about why you're asking you know, each particular teacher to write a recommendation letter for you. Um, and you have to really help them remember what it is that you got out of their class, what you enjoyed, what you did well, how you performed well as a member of the community. And the brag sheet helps them do that. So I'll put a little link to the template so that you can download a copy of it and, and get started filling that out. Bottom line, don't let the time just slip away. Um, every, you know, every minute is important at this point. We're we're literally talking about your submitting your applications in seven months, right? It seems like a long way away right now, but it's actually a lot closer than you think. So hopefully this will help um, help you use the time productively in case your schools are closed next week. I hope they're not, but just in case. Okay, hope this helps. Bye guys. <music>